At work or in private, we face daily new problems that we need to solve fast and efficiently. For that, there are methods and techniques that we can use. Today's video is about problem solving techniques where I will tell you about the 5 Y method, flowchart, and mind mapping. These techniques will help us primarily to find the real cause of a problem. I will use sample exercises to explain these techniques in detail. The story in our exercise is what we see very often in any company. The customer received the wrong product. The customer is upset and is complaining to the management. The company is sending the correct product to the customer right away, but the management needs to solve this problem and find a way to prevent wrong deliveries. To be able to solve the problem, they need to find the real cause. For this, we will use the 5Y method. The 5Y method was developed by Sakichi Toyoda, the founder of the car brand Toyota. The method is to go step by step to get the real cause of the problem by asking why questions. In our exercise, first we will see what happens if we don't use the 5Y method, then what changes when we do use the 5Y method. Why has there been a wrong delivery to our customer? Because the wrong item number was entered. Why was the wrong item number entered? Because the order entry number was entered incorrectly by customer service. Well, that sounds very much like the cause for the problem. Let's call the person from the customer service and give them a warning or better yet, let's fire the person right away. Case solved, problem solved. After a little while, another wrong delivery happens. Seems like the problem still exists. If we stop asking because we assume that we found the cause, then the solution may be wrong if the cause is still really not the right one. Let's see what happens if we continue to use the 5Y method. Why did the customer service enter the wrong item number? because customer service needed to enter the order manually. Why does the order needed to be entered manually? Because the customer ordered through a phone call instead of sending it online as usual. Why didn't the customer order online as usual? Because the customer can choose between ordering online or through a phone call. We could find the real cause of the problem when using the 5Y method. In our exercise, the cause wasn't the customer service. The cause was within the order process, which should be investigated further. There may be more than one cause for the problem. We can use the 5Y method to ask a different question and we may be able to find another cause for the problem. Why don't we recognize the wrong entered item number and deliver the wrong item to the customer? Because we don't have a checkpoint after the order is entered. We have now found a second cause for the problem while using the 5Y method. Both causes are within the order process. Maybe there are more causes hidden within the process. In such a case, it is suggested to look into the whole workflow. For that, we will create a flowchart. The customer places the order. Did the customer send the order online or through a phone call? If it was online, then the order will be processed automatically and sent directly to the warehouse. If it was ordered through a phone call, then the order will be sent to the customer service for manual processing. After processing, the order will be sent to the warehouse. In the warehouse, the orders will be printed out and the items will be picked up manually packaged and handed out for delivery. We have created a very simple flowchart for our exercise. In reality, these flowcharts are far more complex and detailed. We can see another cause for our problem in our flowchart. The items are being picked up manually. That means even if the order is sent correctly to the warehouse, it may happen that a wrong item is going to be picked and delivered to the customer. In the very beginning, we implemented a wrong solution because we didn't search deep enough for the real cause. 
After that, we used the 5Y method and found two causes. Finally, we looked into the workflow and found another cause for the problem. Now it's time to find the right solutions for the problem. First, we should lay out all the information in a clear way. For that, we will be using the mind mapping technique. Mind mapping is an easy way to visualize information, ideas, and plans that are connected to the main subject. The main subject in our exercise is wrong delivery. The first connection to the main subject is the way we receive the order from the customer. As mentioned, we received the order either online or through a phone call. We also know that we receive 80% of all orders online and 20% through a phone call. The orders that we receive online have no risk for inaccurate processing and will be written in green letters. But orders that we receive through a phone call have a risk of inaccurate processing and will be written in red letters. As a possible solution, we may announce a new rule and stop accepting any orders through a phone call. That would prevent manual processing of the orders. But we have to ask ourselves if that rule would cause loss of orders and sales. In estimate, 90% of our customers will switch over to online ordering and 10% will leave our company. Then the real loss would be 2% of all orders. With this information, it will be easier for us to decide if we want to implement the rule or not. Another connection to the main subject would be the order processing. Depending on the way we receive the orders, we process the order either automatically or manually. As we know already, 20% of the orders we receive are being processed manually. Estimated 15% of all manually processed orders are processed incorrectly. That means that 3% of all orders are wrong. As a possible solution, we can implement a checkpoint after the manual processing step. Does it really make sense to implement a checkpoint just to prevent 3% of wrong orders? To be able to answer this question, we add a new connection to the main subject. The title will be Checkpoint. We have two options. Either we implement the software that will sort out all wrong processed orders or we hire an additional employee to check all the manually processed orders. The best way to answer would be a cost-benefit analysis. The last connection to the main subject is picking the item from the warehouse. We found out that 10% of all orders were wrongfully picked. As a possible solution, we can use a barcoding system that would prevent picking the wrong item. For this solution, a cost-benefit analysis would also be essential. The mind mapping tool can be extended further with colors, shapes, sketches, and similar procedures that will make it easier to visualize all the information we have for the main subject. In the next video, I will tell you how to execute a successful brainstorming meeting. If you think that the video was helpful, then don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. If you wish to be notified of new videos, then please subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.